Kevin, this looks like the biggest protest that we've seen since going all the way back to Tiananmen Square. What do you think comes next? What's happening? Well, these protests are covering a lot of different bases. Ostensibly, it's about uh, COVID lockdown, um, and that's the case across the country. People are fed up with it, and there's no easy answer to it from the regime's point of view. But it becomes the vehicle through which a whole bunch of other protest activity is being generated about the absence of democracy and human rights, about uh, other forms of um, discontent uh, with the state of the economy as well. As for next steps, I think uh, the regime has already begun to crack down, not through mass arrests on the streets, but through using surveillance cameras uh, to track people down uh, later on and to frankly take them into custody from their homes rather than before international television cameras. It's um, unnerving to see. Um, President Xi has just been granted basically lifetime, ser uh, lifetime uh, tenure in this job. How secure is his hold on that, on that job? Uh, it's deeply secure. He's been in office now 10 years. He spent the first five years in office consolidating his power as uh, China's, frankly, number one, two, and three. He's eliminated anyone who is directly opposed to him during his first five years in office. And at the most recent 20th Party Congress, those who came from a different, more reformist tradition within the party, they were given early retirement and replaced by people who have been almost lifelong supporters of his. There's one other thing as well we should mention. Overnight, we've heard news that Jiang Zemin, the former general secretary of the Chinese Communist Party, died at the age of 96. You might think, well, what does that matter? His, in history, both in the 70s and the 80s, when former uh, Chinese leaders uh, die and there is uh, associated public protest activity, sometimes this can generate dynamics in Chinese politics which become quite unpredictable. So overnight in China, people will be watching carefully whether there is spontaneous protest activity as people reflect back on a more open period of administration under former General Secretary Jiang Zemin.